Hi everyone and welcome to the Free Range Diva. Today I have what I hope is going to be a fun video for you because it was a fun video for me to put together. I'm going to start off talking about a fragrance company called Dossier and then from there I'm going to move into a quick trip through the redwoods uh, that I took uh, when a uh, few, gosh, I guess it's been a week now. And the reason that I thought it would be fun to combine these two subjects in this one video is because when you go into the forest, the first thing that I notice is the scent, the fragrance of the essential oils coming from the, the leaves and the mold rising up from the forest floor. It's, it's an intoxicating experience. And so, this video was born. So, okay, so let's get started. First up is going to be Dossier. They are a fragrance company. They make clean, beautiful fragrances. Here's the box that they come in. And when you open it up inside, there is your 50 milliliter fragrance. So what makes Dossier so special? First of all, this video is not sponsored, although they did send me uh, these the, the, these two fragrances to try. More about that. Dossier makes fragrances inspired by designer cult scents. They are uh, an online retailer and they, when you go to their website, you will see um, all of, probably all of your favorite designer fragrances represented from Tom Ford to Joe Malone to Dior. Uh, they have a huge variety on their site and these fragrances are inspired by those but at a much more friendly, wallet friendly price point. Their fragrances are crafted in Grasse, France, the perfume capital of the world. Their nose, their nose is in, uh, is located in Paris. So these fragrances are very, very high quality, but they keep the prices low by eliminating markups, expensive packaging, celebrity endorsements. Should I be offended? <laughs> they don't think I'm a celebrity. <laughs> these fragrances are cleanly formulated without par parabens or phthalates. In fact, they are cleaner than the Sephora clean line of products. So, and looking at the, the ingredients, you will see that, that they used these high quality steam distilled essences for their scents. When you go to the website, you'll see that the prices for their fragrances start at $29 and go up to $49 with the vast majority of their fragrances in the $29 range. Here's a good look, a close up look at the full size product. Uh, and yes, this is a 50 millimeter bottle. Beautiful glass bottle, very minimalist design. When you get your Dossier fragrance, you'll see that it's packaged. Uh, you get the 50 milliliter, but you also get this little sample size of the same scent. That way you can test out the sample, see how you like it, and then if you if it doesn't agree with you, if you're not satisfied, you can send the full, the sealed full price bottle back for a full refund. It has to be sealed, which is why they're giving you this sample to work with. And there's plenty in here. I mean, this is full. So you'll have within 30 days to make your decision. And again, full refund, just return the whole thing. Uh, just make sure that you don't open, unseal the, the 50 milliliter and you'll get your full refund. This. I think is genius because it takes all of the risk out of buying perfume online. So let me talk to you a little bit about the fragrances that I received. I received their spicy vetiver and their spicy vanilla. Now when I talked to them in, by email, um, they asked me to take a look at their site and see what kind of appealed to me. I don't um, have a vast knowledge of perfume brands, but there are some scents that I know that I like, some basic scents like vanilla, for example, cedarwood, jasmine. So I sort of looked through uh, and found three that I thought that I would like. And then I emailed back and said, you know what? These are what I think, but 
why don't you send me what you feel would be the perfect sort of spring floral light scent that would be really good for this season. So they sent me the spicy vetiver. So let me tell you the notes in the, in the spicy vetiver are the top notes are orange grapefruit pepper, middle notes black pepper, vetiver, geranium, and then your base notes are patchouli, oak moss, and benzoin. Now I am wearing this one today, the spicy vetiver today. And I am happy to say that yes, when you, the first thing that you hit that you get when you spray this is definitely that citrus and the pepper mixed together. And then it just kind of dries down into something very light and very refreshing and indeed perfect for this time of year. On their website, they describe this as breathing the elements of earth, water, and sky, which that's me. <laughs> it's sophisticated and very natural and it is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. And it lasts. These fragrances, you can reapply if you wish, but they definitely will stay for hours and hours. <laughs> it's just, ugh. I really. Mm, that pepper. This fragrance is inspired by the Hermes Terra de... This fragrance is inspired by the Hermes Terra de Hermes. Terra de Hermes. Terra de Hermes. De Why can't I say this today? This spicy vetiver is inspired by the Hermes Terra de Hermes. And I'm not familiar with that fragrance, but um, what I can say about both of these fragrances is that they really stand alone. I mean, I, I can't... This is not like the time of... of year or life where I'm going to be going around Sephora and sniffing fragrances. I don't even think you can do that right now, but it's just, it. I think that it's just a beautiful, beautiful representation. The second one that they sent is called Spicy Vanilla. Now this is inspired by the Tom Ford Noir. Again, I am not familiar with that, but this is a gorgeous gorgeous fragrance. The top notes are nutmeg, black pepper, and lemongrass. Middle notes, rose, patchouli, and orris. Base notes, vanilla, amber, and apoponax. And they describe this on the site as sensual and mysterious. It's got hot spices with a soft, smoky vanilla end. I, uh, lightly. Oh my god. You get the, you do get a really spicy hit, but it's the vanilla that comes through at the end that is just so intoxicating. Of the two fragrances, I can't pick. They are just beautiful. They stand alone. They are, I am so, so, so glad that Dossier sent me these fragrances. I had, I didn't think that I would like them as much as I did. There's some fragrances that I really, really like, and most of them I don't, but these, Two, they hit it out the park for me with both of these. And for you, they offered me a 10% off coupon on top of the great prices. This one is $39 and the Vetiver is $29. And they offered me a coupon for 10% off. So it's Cheryl10, my name 10, and that will get you 10% off the site. They also have uh, promos going all the time, free shipping, things like that. So uh, check them out. If you're looking for a way to capture your favorite fragrance in a cleaner formulation that is a lot more wallet friendly, then please check out Dossier. I don't think you'll be disappointed. So yeah, a week ago, uh, my mother and I took a trip to the Redwoods. We went to Henry Cowell State Park. It's just north of Santa Cruz here in, South, in California. The trip was prompted, aside from the fact that we're both, both vaccinated and wanted to actually get out and do some stuff, the trip was prompted by the fires that happened here last year in our national forests. Thousands of acres of redwoods burned. 4,400 acres of the ancient redwoods in Big Basin Redwood Park 
burned. Henry Cowell State Park has about 40 acres of old growth redwoods. The tallest redwood is 277 uh, feet and it's about 16 feet wide and around 1500 years old. It's one of the few parks, state parks, where the redwood trees have never been logged. So it is still very true to its natural form. It's very pristine. The age range of the ancient redwoods is from about 1,000 to 2,000 years old. So you don't get to be 1,500 years old without having to deal with things like fires. Uh, and redwoods are very adaptable. The climate uh, in this part of the state is, uh, has a lot of fog, a lot of mist, a lot of rainfall, and the bark on the redwood trees is very spongy. So it absorbs all this, this moisture, this fog, and that is how the inner core of the tree is protected from fire because of its bark. So although these trees are excellent at adapting, and fire can be very uh, cleansing, renewing for the forest and the forest floor, but because of climate change, the uh, amount of fog and moisture in the air is starting to decrease. So the future of our redwoods are, are really uncertain. Uh, all right, so I think I'm just gonna go to uh, the video now and show you what I saw that day. I hope you enjoy it. And um, here we go. The journey begins at the Roaring Camp Logging Town. This town is a reimagined version of what an actual town that would have sprung up to support the logging mining industry would have looked like. Oh, is that it? It's here! The Dixiana Shea locomotive was built in 1912 and came to Roaring Camp by way of a narrow gauge mining railroad line in Virginia. It is authentically preserved and retrofitted to be powered by water instead of coal, its original fuel source. Redwood tree roots go down only about 6 to 12 feet. Then they turn upwards and spread out over the surface where they intertwine with the roots of other trees. This helps the shallow root system to support their weight and height. New trees sprout from these surface roots and these new trees are genetic copies of the parent tree. They reproduce this way about 85% of the time, and the rest by seed. Get ready to high-five that redwood! The older parent tree surrounded by its sprouted offspring is called a cathedral grove. Although we couldn't disembark, just being in such close proximity allows you to experience the magical energy of this tree formation. They even grow their branches outward from the circle, creating a dome effect.
Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you again to Dossier for sending out those fragrances. If you uh, are interested in Dossier and more info about Dossier, you can go to their site or you can leave me questions down below. I'm happy to answer them. If you have a favorite fragrance, put it in the comments below. I bet you they have a match for it. Uh, all right, everyone, thanks again for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't, I would love it if you did. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss my next video. And until I see you in that video, I'm wishing you a wonderful day, a wonderful week. Take good care of yourselves. And I will talk to you again very, very soon. Bye.